Challenge Rift 66. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please don't forget when you complete this Challenge Rift, Season 15 has begun and you can claim your cash rewards in your Season 15 character. So special note, keep that in mind. Now let's have a look what we're dealing with this week. It is a barbarian, obviously. You can tell with those huge Vol Ward shoulders. And I'm not going to spend too much time talking about the gear and stuff this week. Basically because this is one of those Thrill of the Hunt achievement builds. Which means you can't use any set items. You have to complete a GR45 using no set items whatsoever. You can tell straight away that this is what this person has been going for. One of those Thrill of the Hunt builds. Three items worth mentioning here. Vile Ward for the Furious Charge damage increase. Also the Syndicate which reduces the resource cost of any fire skills that we're using which is pretty major for Hammer of the Ancients here and also increases damage dealt by fire skill abilities. Now the other item worth mentioning Braces of the First Men. Very 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 handy because we're using Hammer of the Ancients or HOA as a, our primary damage dealer. What this does is Hammer of the Ancients attacks 50% faster and deals 370, 376 excuse me increased damage so huge there everything else you just put nice ancient items anything that has high damage output also good to see that this person this character has three gems equipped there two in the rings and one in the amulet slot good job there sir also definitely the emerald gems for critical hit damage there very very nice as well now can ice cube the gravel of judgment again increasing damage of hammer of the ancients very nice leoric's crown which he has which he's doubled up on so we're not going to get full benefit of this he should have put something else in there but anyway and band of the might again reducing damage taken when we use furious charge so the main two abilities we're using are Furious Charge and definitely Hammer of the Ancients to do most of the primary damage. And then we're just buffing up our character as we go. The skills, Hammer of the Ancients, primary damage dealer, Furious Charge, secondary, Warcry, Battle Rage, Threatening Shout, and Wrath of the Berserker. The passives, Ruthless, Rampage, Brawler, and Berserker Rage. So this is super, super easy if you kind of just have a decent route in your mind when you get, when you get into this challenge rift. What you want to do is definitely activate your War Cry, your Battle Rage, the moment you walk, get into this challenge rift. Straight away, activate them. Your Threatening Shout, you want to time a little bit better. Definitely use it when elites are around or if there's a large pack. Basically what it does, it'll strike fear into your enemies and make them do less damage. So it's just a damage reduction buff pretty much there. Wrath of the Berserker, definitely want to time this right when you come across elite packs and at the very start I'm going to show you how to time it really well and will pretty much benefit from this buff for three elite packs in a row. It's a big, big boost in the beginning, I guarantee you. And Furious Charge, you pretty much want to use whenever it's available, particularly if we're fighting elite packs and if we've got a big dense pack that we're coming across. It's also pretty handy for a bit of mobility and definitely speed increases. I like to use it to charge across the screen and get a bit of a, a speed increase there. And of course, Hammer of the Ancients, just to smash through our enemies. This is our primary damage dealer. It's what you want to be using for your primary damage that's it we've just gone through this so quickly season 15 has begun so if you haven't started your character start it now and don't forget to claim your cash rewards in season 15 you can definitely do that you could have done it last week as well for your rewards you can do it again this week and every challenge rift going forward all right let's do this together my beautiful people i've missed you all so much we're in let's do it and like I said, activate your shout straight away. And there are three packs really close to each other here. So once you activate that Wrath of the Berserker, you want to try and down them as quickly as possible. Get those orbs, charge the next pack. There's one here. And that way we smash through those elites as quickly as possible. And then we want to try and head down here as quickly as possible. There's another blue elite pack. And we kind of miss out on Wrath of the Berserker. But if you really high tail it, you can definitely kill all three of those packs before Wrath of the Berserker runs out. If you just time it well, maybe a little bit, little bit of luck factor involved too. And we just keep on moving, baby. Get the pile on here. Another elite over here. And I've only had a very, very quick look this week. I'm not here to show you how to 
become rank one on the leaderboards. I'm just here to show you how to complete this so you can get your rewards and keep playing your seasons. In case you're struggling with this, if you're not familiar with a barbarian, you've come to the right place. Your dear old uncle's going to show you how to do this. And I'm basically just progressing through the challenge drift, trying to get to the elites as quickly as possible. Oh! Get out of those frozen orbs. As you can see, damage isn't an issue in this. And I haven't actually come up with the best route for this. I'm kind of just uh, winging it. Particularly in the later stages. I have been through this earlier on. At the end, I'll pretty much just be winging it. And that's because I'm not going for some world record time. I just want to show you guys how to do this. I'm very, very busy myself, which reminds me. I'm sorry for not being very active on YouTube lately. I've been watching movies. I've been uh, very busy with my social life and with my work life in particular. That's the most draining part. The work life. And playing Spider-Man on PlayStation 4. OMG. Talk about... One of the best games that I've played in a long time. It was actually a real surprise for me because usually when they uh, make video games based on movies, they end up being pretty crappy. But this was just incredible. Is incredible. So I can't wait to finish this up and go play some Spider-Man. And I haven't, even, I haven't been able to play World of Warcraft much lately because of Spider-Man. And you know World of Warcraft just sucks your life. So... I might not even play much of World of Warcraft anymore. Only because of the time that it requires. And I'm pretty competitive, so unless I'm, you know, pretty geared up and, and, and one of the better characters in the game, I just, I'm not too motivated to play it. But I also don't want to sacrifice every spare minute for World of Warcraft, which I could do. And I could be awesome, but there's just too much, too many things to do. I'm watching Westworld Season 2 as well at the moment, so... In between watching movies, going out, seeing bands, working, 10 hour days, life's just busy. But, I do want to definitely review the new Predator movie, I want to talk about that. I want to review The Nun, and also want to review Mandy, the new Nicolas Cage movie that people are going on about. Yeah, I was watching that last night, actually, after work. Definitely want to review that. Alright, so here, I'm no expert on the route on this level, because I haven't actually sussed it out. But, oh, we've come across an elite, that's nice. There could be other elites up here further ahead, like, I don't know. I haven't been on this, on this floor before. Oh, but we're going to the next one. Oh, this is an annoying floor. I hate this one. It's just so long. So we're wasting time kind of here, but that's alright. Still got plenty of time to go. Oh, Elite's here. Nice. So yeah, movies I want to talk about. I want to show you all the Spider-Man game. I want to review the Spider-Man game. Like, apologies that I can't do it any sooner because life's so busy for me with work like by the time I play through the game my review will be like after everyone's already reviewed it so sorry that it's going to be late but at least we get an idea of what I think about the game and it might help you decide whether or not to buy it yourself or what you're going to spend your money on uh, word of advice don't spend your money if you're on a budget don't spend your money on going to see the predator don't do that even though I'm going to review it, I'm going to save most of my personal opinions for the review and what I thought of the movie. But, I'm just warning you right now, don't go waste your money on The Predator <laughs> in the theatre. And probably don't even go waste your money on The Nun. If you're going to spend your money on anything, spend it on the Spider-Man game. Stay at home, play that. That's like watching a movie as well. The story's amazing. And here we go, Rift Guardian. So we've got a full minute to kill the Rift Guardian. Shouldn't be a problem. Unfortunately, Wrath of the Berserker wore off, so it wasn't great timing there. I think Rift, I think this, this floor 5 was probably a mistake coming here. I think he drained a lot of our time. We probably could have popped this Rift Guardian somewhere on the previous level. Maybe, I don't know, it doesn't matter. It was very easy anyway. That is how we do this week's Challenge Rift. 
As you can see, I wasn't very familiar with the route or anything like that, but it was relatively easy anyway. We had like a whole minute to kill the Rift Guardian, which is easy. If you guys have been struggling with this Charmed Rift, just follow my guide like that, and maybe explore Rift level number four a little bit more. There might have been some more elites further up. I just kept progressing through and went straight to floor five. But either way, you're going to complete this so easy. You're going to get your materials. You're going to be able to use them in season 15 to craft all those lovely items that you need and hopefully it'll boost your seasonal journeys. I've let you know all the future content coming real soon, the movie reviews, the Spider-Man gaming, and of course, Diablo 3 guides. I'll let you know what character, what class I've gone with in Diablo 3 Season 15 in the very, very near future video. Don't forget that you can subscribe, that way you can keep notified of all the new content that keeps coming through, and you also support your creepy, damn, head-banging, cute, beautiful, hairy uncle. Until next time, I love you all, keep that in mind, and if you don't want to subscribe, just come back and visit.